and welcome back to Urban News. So I'm with Taylor Eve. How are you today? I'm great. I'm so excited to be here. Yes, yeah, so we're actually going to be with Taylor Eve as she shops and show her her style. So, you know, you got, you got your show coming up too, right? Coming up. So I'm excited for that too. One on my birthday, which is February 13th. Um, another on the 16th and SOB's on the 17th. Ooh, okay, we got to get into this look, girl. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Who is Taylor Eve? So Taylor Eve, she's the upcoming artist from Brooklyn, bed -Stuy specifically. Taylor Eve is a ball of energy. She's fun. She's cool. She's hip. And uh, she's she's an it girl. So, I mean, Taylor Eve is just out here. So I've been following you for a while now. We actually knew each other for about, what, three or four, five years? Yeah, exactly. So I've always wanted to work with you because you started off in the industry doing, like, PR, internships. So how did you know at a young age you wanted to be in the music industry? Well, just growing up and being around, my mom would always sing around the house, and always, my dad's always playing like old school music, and just being able, just me wanting to dance and be a part of that, I wanted to figure out how can I get into entertainment, into the music, into anything, I, really entertainment, and that's kind of where it stemmed from, just that young hunger and that's, that young curiosity of like, oh, I like this, so how do I get a part of it? So, yeah. so you also had like um, Snoop Dogg actually reposted your video. Yeah. How did that get about? Like, how did that happen? Okay, so, uh, so Snoop Dogg he reposted my song "Like You," and that happened. He reposted it from one of his fan pages that posted my song. And when I actually finally met him and spoke to him about it, and I was so excited for that, he was said that his son showed him the song and that he just wanted to support and he just always looking for up and coming artists. So that was a blessing, a blessing for sure. So if you had to perform at Snoop Dogg's house, which one of these idols <laughs> would you pick? I know you said Snoop Dogg's house. So Snoop Dogg is, he's fun, he's energetic, and he's young at heart right now. So I feel like these vibrant colors, I would definitely love to tie in maybe this blue hat. Ooh, I love it. This blue hat with it, and then I'm going to come around to this one right here. One. Hold on, that's not it. You know, like you can wear this with a um, a little like a little bikini top. You know, if you was in LA, yes, for sure. But for this, this is probably going to be the main thing right here. And then either some like some nice biker shorts, either some I don't know khakis. I'm not sure. Something like flowy and fun. But this will be the top for sure with the white sports bra underneath, and I will have it open so it still gives me that like. Freedom, you know what I'm saying? But that would be that. Not those pants. Say, hey, it's pretty different. Tell this. me about this. Okay, this. Okay, so these pants I got from a boutique on Utica Avenue in Brooklyn. It was like this African shop that I stopped by, but they had all this stuff, you know, really extravagant, really extra. I was like, you know what, I'm about to cop these. So I got this, and then the top is from Fashion Over Men. Fashion Over Men. And I cut it this morning. So it was it was like down here before and I was like I need something to complement the pants to let this speak for itself and then let the top have its own little like statement. So I cut it and yeah, I kinda put it together and I always have like my feelers on. So I love yes. them. Just, you know, you know. Love it, I love your style. So you just recently dropped a new single and I love the cover art. It kinda gives me like a Beyonce feel when she first had her her first um, debut album. So how did you come about that? So I was working with my friends. My friends helped me come up with the idea as well. We wanted something that was like timeless, something that was really classic. Um, one of our references was like Mariah Carey's, uh, I forgot the album cover. The the one, like it was Mariah Carey and she just like this. Like, I, no, she had a dress on, she had a full dress on. And um, like just having that image was just something that we wanted to go with, something that was just timeless and classic. and. That, yeah, I kind of just bringing it to life and bringing it into today's time and kind of like, you know, what's going to resonate with, you know, my generation and stuff like that. So that's kind of where the inspiration came from. And yeah, I had a team of friends that really just helped me push the creative process too. So, it's, yeah. So that's going to move us to outfit number two. Okay. So, outfit number two. So I saw this over here. I saw this over here. I, I'm big on cohorts and like matching sets. Today I'm not matching, but typically like I would. But I love this, and I'm a big fan of like sports bras too. So something like, just a chill vibe. This would be open, kind of just making me, I don't know, like I feel like a warrior with this right now. And like when I open it, I have my sports bra on under here. So like I would have this open. This I'm able to like, you know, 
break it down. So I really like this too. It makes me feel just hard and soft at the same time. Like the outfit is hard, but me as a person, I'm soft and like centered. So I feel like it's a nice contrast, but I would definitely pull something like this off and have it open with like a, a dope little sports bra too. So that's something what I would do. So I remember earlier we were talking about your style and how you want to be able to market yourself. What, uh, what, how do you know like what style works for you? Like do you sit in the mirror and like, okay, no, these braids work well or this hair works well? I think with time, everything falls into place naturally. Um, before I was doing like frontals and stuff, and I, which I love, and like even having weaves too, but I feel more in love with the braids. And I tell people when I, I like the braids too because it's more cost effective. Like I can leave this in for like a month and a half, maybe two, pushing I See, I gotta get this done, redone tomorrow. But definitely like, I just try to do what I feel feels right to me. And I'm from Brooklyn too, so I definitely wanna bring out that Brooklyn aesthetic, that Brooklyn vibe, you know, my earring. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, I guess, I. I just find out what I like throughout trial and error. And I fell in love with the braids. The braids are like my thing. The star on my face is my thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So all throughout like college, I would put like fake freckles, like fake dots. And like before I was putting like three dots here and it was looking a little weird because I was just like, okay, now nah, let me not put three dots in the triangle form. That's a little weird. But like, I was like, I want to put a star cause that's what I believe I am. And that's what I believe everybody should embody. So it's like, you know, I put that right there and I love it. It just adds a little touch. It just makes me feel like that one step of just trying to be different. And everybody always asks me, is it a tattoo? Is it, do you, what, what is that? And then I just say I draw it on every day. So that's pretty much what it is. And I know you just had a show yesterday in D.C. How did you like it? Yes, it was amazing. I'm so glad that I got to connect with my D.C. demographic, my D.C. people out there, and the D.C. fans, too, and just being able to, you know, tap in a whole different market, too, outside of New York. And I'm, I'm just very grateful that I was able to have a successful a successful show out there, too. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you prepare for that? Like, do you, how often do you practice for your show? Yes. Um, it's mostly it's like six times a week because I have vocal lessons, which is six times a week. Um, sometimes I may miss um, depending on what's going on, but I'm really actively going and just trying to get better every day. So that's that's really the goal, you know, eat, breathe, sleep, singing. So that's really it. So if you had to go out, you know, with your friends, like brunch or just dinner, what outfit out of these racks would you choose? If it, I think this may be a little big. Oh, let me get this one. There's my size. There we go. Manifested that real quick. <laughs> and so I would have these with like the cuffs here. To give it like that comfy, cozy. I just love being cozy. Oh, so I love this. Like you, I wish y'all could feel this. And then what kind of, I would probably wear like um, pink boots that are like ankle boots that are like really cute just to tie in with this. Um, and like some nice chains with this. I think that'll be cute. So something like this. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Love it. That's me. And what else? Yeah. Oh, she wants to pick it out. Oh, I was looking at this, but I was like, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Where do you get your style from? Like, I kind of feel like you're like Rihanna, but boyish. Ah, <laughs> a little bit. Like, um, I think in due time, I'll like girly it up a little bit more. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I love shopping at so many different places that are able that that have standout pieces. So shout out to like Necessary Clothing and Mystique Boutique. And they have great yes, and also here at Fluid, like it's my first time here, so they have some bomb stuff here too. But I definitely see myself coming here as well. But yeah, I just try to like just do my own thing so yeah mm -hmm. so you know with being in the industry and everything like that um, have you ever felt like you've been betrayed or anything especially working with music a lot of people always say that with young music artists people don't respect them as much have you ever felt that way um gladly I haven't gotten to that point where I mean I guess I felt disrespected or um, I guess unappreciated anyway but I feel like so far, my experience in the industry and being an artist on the on the artist side, it has been good so far, pretty positive. So I'm happy to say that. But I definitely know I do want to watch my back when, you know, come things coming up and like people, because it's a tough industry and like you never know what to expect and people are always out, you know, you never know who's out to get you. But uh, yeah, so it's definitely just something that I keep in the back of my mind. But so far, I've had a positive experience. So I'm excited. So you also had a record label, Seven Records. Um, are you guys still working a building, or are you more so focusing on yourself? Oh yeah. So with Seven Records, we that was like my friends and I. We started that, but that 
we kind of just went our separate ways too. So we're all just doing our own thing. So I'm independent, independent myself. Um, that's something that I started with my friends right after I graduated college. And we had the label for like five, six months. Um, and then we parted ways. And now I'm just working on myself. I have Molesack Music um, that I'm doing with my sister. So I'm under my own. I'm under myself. I'm doing a lot of things on my own. And I just have the support of... I guess my family and also my friends too. So we're, we all support each other and we're all like doing our own thing. And I'm just extremely happy that we were able to kind of just help build each other up and kind of just see each other like just go off and flourish at the same time. So Wait, so your sister does music as well? Is she? What does she do in the industry? Oh, so my sister Kayla, she's managing me now. Yes, so she's managing me. She's actually graduating from UConn right now. But I believe in her so much, and the love and dedication is there, and that's really what I look for. Um, I think the experience will come with time, because I'm learning too. And I just know that, you know, she's had internships before. She's um, assisted Angie Martinez. She worked at Power 105. Um, she worked at Sony. So she has a lot of great background, as, as I do as well. So I just believe in her 100%, and I just like the fact that, um, my sister is on board. I used to have other, another manager too. That didn't work out, but um, I'm happy. I got everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And my sister is here, and we about to take over. She's about to kill it. Yeah. yeah so, um, with like, what can you tell upcoming artists that you know that worked for you, that didn't work for you? What advice can you give them? Definitely keep going 100 percent um i was in a phase in a stage um i guess after i had left my like all of us had left the label all of us had just went our separate ways i was just like what am i gonna do like you know is this something i don't i didn't have that support system that i had before because everybody would just it was like well what am i doing now so I had to tell myself I need to keep going. I need to, this is something that I love to do. This is something that I want to pursue. And just seeing myself keep going, I solidified opportunities for myself. And here I am today, like having an interview with you. Like things are things are still happening. Things are still going on. And definitely, um, you know, have somebody with your contracts review contracts thoroughly. Because I feel like everybody nowadays are just signing anything and everything because it sounds right. But in three months down the line, you're wondering what's going on. Yeah. So I just say like, just really keep your head up, keep going, keep striving, keep manifesting, and just really like, if you want it, go get it, and it'll come to fruition. I love it. Well, let's get into this look. You're gonna actually try on a fit for us today, and then we're gonna, we'll be right back. Yeah, so this is the outfit that I chose to wear for you guys, and I love it so much because it's adjustable. So here you can like zip it, make it a crop top. You can actually make it a full, uh, a full jacket as well. They also have the adjustable pockets as well, and it's so like flowy. I feel like I can dance in it. I feel like I I can vibe. Like I said before, the sportswear always comes in handy because like I like to show a little stomach sometimes, like something that's a little bit not too much, but it's just like that little okay, you know cover it up but like a little bit but yeah I just feel like really myself I feel free I feel like I can vibe and bounce and uh, yeah so I really love this outfit hey guys it's your girl Taylor Eve and I just wrapped up a dope video with Urban News thank you guys so much for having me